Many Christians have asked me if heaven will be boring. I mean, it's forever, so will we just be standing around and singing songs all day? So for those of you who are concerned that heaven may actually be boring, or if you're just curious about what heaven will be like, here are seven facts about heaven that everyone should know. So now that we talked about what won't be in heaven, let's talk about what will be in heaven. So fact number three, heaven will have nations and rule. Revelation chapter 21 verses 22 to 26. I saw no temple in the city, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. And the city has no need of sun or moon, for the glory of God illuminates the city and the Lamb is its light. The nations will walk in its light and the kings of the world will enter the city in all their glory. Its gates will never be closed at the end of day because there is no night there and all the nations will bring their glory and honor into the city. In this passage, John continues to make observations about this new world and he sees that the new Jerusalem does not need the sun or moon for light because God himself will be illuminating the city. And then John says that nations and the kings of the world will enter into the city with all their glory and that they'll bring their glory and honor into the city. So it would seem that in this new heaven and new earth, that there will still be nations. However, these nations will be devoid of any sin or corruption. So can you imagine a United States with zero corruption? Think of the <laughs> Philippines, Canada, India, the UK, awesome. all without poverty, any injustice or evil. You see, God is the originator of all their languages. So the culture and beauty of all nations is rooted in God himself. So can you imagine a world where every country loved, feared, and respected God himself? Imagine their culture free of sin, their architecture without any flaws, their society free of any death or injustice, and their food without any blemish. And for those of you who are thinking, there's food in heaven? Revelation chapter 22 verse 2 says that there will be fruit. And even in Genesis chapters 1 and 2, God created food for mankind back when the world was without sin. So there's some reason to believe that there will be things to eat in this new heaven. And on top of there being nations, there will also be kings in heaven, which means that God will place some people in authority there. Which makes sense, because back when God created Adam in a world without any sin, God gave Adam authority over the Garden of Eden. And on top of that, we see in Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 30, that the servants who did well were given rule for their faithfulness. And interesting fact, God gives different kinds of crowns that may indicate a kind of rule that he gives in heaven. There's a crown of life mentioned in James chapter 1 verse 12, the crown of righteousness in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8, and the crown of glory in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 4. So from what I read, it looks like heaven will have perfected nations that we can all visit, which will have beloved kings and rulers that will lead well and reflect the heart of the king of kings. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Heaven will have nations and rule. Okay, so that means, okay. Inside the video, you guys, I'm gonna clip the video here. But inside the video, it described the, the, the length, width, and height. Is it the length, width? Pretty much, it describes the dimensions of New Jerusalem, number one. Number two, it says how tall, how possible it is for us to experience this. There's going to be different areas inside of heaven. So you wanted to uh, visit Dubai, you wanted to visit Japan, you wanted to visit Africa, Latin America, you wanted to visit America, you wanted to visit Australia, all these different places, and you're like, wow, that looks incredible. Wow, look at these buildings, look at this architecture. Boy, listen. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm actually just so surprised by what I'm hearing because I never heard about this. I, I'm like, okay, well, maybe heaven's gonna be a little bit boring. What you gonna do? Like, just praise and sing all the time? You know, I'm not trying to knock anybody, I'm not trying to knock God, but like, what am I gonna be able to do? We're gonna have a whole large land to explore. And num <laughs> I've been saying this for the longest time, for the longest time. Is oh, that was a nice little. Anyways, is that we're gonna be able to fly, okay? <laughs> Oh, hold on. Is that another? Hold on. Y'all tripping. Hold on. Not tripping. <laughs> what y'all doing? I didn't see what happened. Whoever did that. Hi. Thank you. Subscribing. Um, um, liking. Donating. I don't know what happened, but thank you. Okay. So again, you guys need to understand. I'm, the full video is going to be up on YouTube. So then the, the YouTube is is down there. Yeah. yeah, yeah for all y'all. For all y'all out there. Anyways, back to the video. Okay. Heaven is going to be amazing. I told you we going to fly. I said it. Now it's not in, it's not biblical. There's nothing in the Bible that says that, but I have full faith that we're gonna be able to fly and have superpowers. Y'all thought the Flash was cool? Y'all thought Superman was cool? Sight? Nah. 
we oh stop playing if i could use heat vision okay no no purpose to use a heat vision as a matter of fact i don't think it'd be like how do you see when you use heat vision you know what i'm saying uh, but anyways it's just the new jerusalem and the new lands is going to be amazing again back to the nations and rule we're going to be able to visit somebody's nation again i feel as though there's going to be somebody who has a crown on their head for the work that they've done and they're going to be able to not only not rule for themselves but rule for god in a, in a whole in a whole nation they're going to be given nations um for them to rule over and for people to come visit whenever they want to. imagine listen y'all keep it in your thoughts imagine you got your own mini nation and i'm able to fly to your nation you can fly to mine forget the house we got our own house don't don't worry about that i'm gonna fly to your nation let me let me give me the directions let me fly to your nation oh flip flop me okay <laughs> point number three this is gonna be nations and rule okay